In the summer of 2013, I took a cross-country road trip to follow up with some of my former students who are currently working as rangeland management specialists, and in the process, I met others like them. They shared with me some of their great experiences in the field. One of the best days I have out here in the Mojave Desert is that when it rains. It's such a dry landscape, it doesn't seem like it receives much rain, but when it does rain, it, it pours and it, it, there's water everywhere. There's waterfalls where you never thought there would be waterfalls. And... My second day on the job, I was touching a Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, and there are probably only 400 of these animals left on this planet. That was one of the highlights of my life. Well, I don't really have a typical work day. Uh, spend probably over half the time in the field and working in new areas almost every week and then the other less than half of that time in, uh, in the office. Uh, last summer I got to watch a pretty sizable herd of elk just migrating through I guess and uh, yeah it just it gives you an opportunity to see a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't get to see. A really good day for me on the range would be riding my horse out to go look at all my stock and seeing that I got plenty of healthy cows and calves and traveling over all the countryside and seeing what there is to see, you know, seeing the haka wing and the coyote hiding in his little hole or horned toad, anything like that. These unique experiences are not uncommon among rangeland management specialists. Rangeland management is a special natural resources discipline that blends science and management for the purpose of sustaining valuable habitat. The primary goal of rangeland management is to protect and enhance sustainable ecosystems that provide lots of things, including forage for wildlife and livestock, renewable energy development, clean water and air, and recreation on public and private land. While this is the common goal of all range managers, each has a unique story as to how they got involved in this career. Uh, why I joined range, uh, it really was a passion to work with different cultures. Here in Farmington, we border the Navajo Nation, and so we get to work with a lot of Navajo permittees, and every permittee is different, and they're quite unique. There's hobby ranchers, there's big rancher people, and then we have a different culture with the Navajo, so I really enjoy working with the people on the land. I chose rangeland resource science because when I started studying natural resources, I realized that I wanted to be able to manage the land to enable people to use the land, but also to make sure to manage it for future generations. I originally went into wildlife because uh, I was interested in protecting and conserving wildlife. But as I went through my studies, I realized that you can't address the issues with wildlife preservation and conservation without addressing habitat loss and uh, degradation. I chose range because of the job opportunities also. There is numerous opportunities to work as a tech during the summers to give yourself experience and then also numerous opportunities to land a permanent job upon graduation. It's probably less than a year you become your own boss. You're, you're giving requirements to do, we have targets to meet, that type of thing, but you're able to plan your own day, plan your schedule, you know when you need to be in the field, you know when you need to plan your office time and um, it's just a real freedom in that. I got into range because I really like to be outside and I'm really interested in land management and how all the resources get used um, and I think range is a good broad spectrum field to start out. And range is broad in the sense you're not focused on one area, you're a historian, you got to know a little bit about hydrology, you have to know about uh, botany, you have to know about ecology and wildlife even and how that all inter interrelates and interacts with each other. So there is a lot of opportunity to go overseas and work in range in Mongolia, Asia, <laughs> South America. I mean, range is in the whole world. So there might be a people group you're really interested in and there, there could be a way to get there and work with them. If you would like to know more about becoming a rangeland management specialist, please visit rangelandswest.org and click on careers and education